Well, let's talk about some of your shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, where, where I was going with, with Kevin, um, Kevin is, I met Kevin when I moved out here and Kevin works over at a company called Helenet. Um, and Helenet does uh, a- aerial cinematography um, and they also wear a lot of other hats. They do uh, the Children's Hospital helicopter. Um, they do Charter, which is kind of where I started doing a little bit of flying out here. Um, had the opportunity to do some sporadic SIC, which is second, second in command uh, piloting on, on some of the helicopters over there. Um, and just flying clientele from, you know, whether it's pick them up in Calabasas, take them to Coachella yeah. and then take them back. You know, it, it was cool. I enjoyed it. It was a lot different than, than what I was used to. Cause literally the, the before I jumped into that helicopter, the, the previous helicopter that I flew was the Apache. So I get into <laughs> this thing and I'm just like, this is a lot different than I'm used to. Like it's got a little knob for like autopilot, you know, it just turns the nose and stuff. I'm like, all right, this is, this is pretty sweet. <laughs> Who's uh, the most famous person you've ever flown? Hmm. Probably Beyonce. Beyonce. Yeah, Beyonce. Nice. Or, oh, d- wow. Or Will Smith, one of the two. Oh, nice. buddy. Yeah. I, knew, I knew about Will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, both both were very nice people and, and uh, you know, nice to fly around, so. Cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. But um, uh, anyway, I ended Back up- Back to meeting, filming. Yeah, and yeah. ended up uh, meeting Kevin and and like I was talking about Helenet uh, and he uh, kind of opened the door for uh, for me to do some drone flying for Helenet. And my, my buddy, Chad Daring, uh, worked over there as well. Um, and he kind of, you know, it, it, there's a big risk that goes along with it because with these productions, you know, when a, when a, when a drone company takes on a production, if there's an incident, it's a big deal um, you know, on whether it's a Netflix show or whether it's a, a you know, CBS or whatever it is. It, if you have an incident, it's a, it's a big deal. So finding reliable people to fly the aircraft um, is, you know, not easy. So we, we had a little trial period and, and passed and, and kind of just fell into the, uh, fell into the roster of, of all the people that get, get to go out and fly, which is about me and another dude, at least over <laughs> Helena. And, uh, and so we get to work on a lot of cool shows and, you know, outside of Helena, I, I have some really neat opportunities. I've gotten to fly with a lot of great companies out here and I'm, I'm super fortunate that they all still call and, and, and get to work on these neat shows. I, uh, Lightcraft, uh, Lightcraft TV, they did, um, uh, Michael Bay's ambulance, all of the FPV stuff. Mm. So, uh, any of the racer drone stuff that you see, it's probably coming, probably coming from them. Um, they worked with the drone dudes and all of these companies, they all do just amazing work. You know, you can't go wrong. Um, they're, they're all great people and, and a lot of fun to work with. So is there any way we could talk about your work on a uh, WandaVision? Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't have that many days on WandaVision. Um, in fact, we ended up, most of it was shot down in Atlanta. Um, I ended up doing some, sh- uh, some shots here over at the Disney lot, uh, which was on, I think the finale, the, the, the last episode, um, which was where they were all flying around and, and in the big battle up in the sky. And so, you know, when you're shooting it, you're like, they're, they're talking about, you know, plates and, and, and they need a clean plate here. And then, and then we're going to push in on this. And I'm like, all right. I mean, I, I, I like to, I view myself as a creative more than, than just a guy who's with a camera, like and putting in a spot. Like I like to understand what you want so that we can make it happen. Um, and so when they're describing the shot, I'm like, okay, so we got to move the camera like this and then, you know, make it happen. So, um, but yeah, it was, it was just a lot of plate shots and, uh, nothing, nothing too amazing, you know, but on, you got to work on it. So on that note though, when you were filming it versus when you saw it on TV, yeah. how, how different was it even from how you had potentially imagined it? Well, the VFX in WandaVision were insane. Yeah. Um, so I remember doing some of the shots where we fly into the village and they did like a time warp, uh, while you're flying in. And I was just like, wow. I, I remember flying it and, and just like, that's kind of cool to see it, to see mm-hmm. your work, you know? And, and I, I, I had really had the opportunity just so thankful for it uh, to fly on a lot of cool shows. And I don't watch them all, but you know, every now and again, I mean, we were, we were just, I forget where we were at uh, the other day, but there was a, some TV on in the background and there's a Hyundai commercial. And I was like, oh, I remember shooting that. You know, mm-hmm. you know it's, it's yeah. kind of fun just to see that stuff. So yeah, yeah that's yeah. really cool. Yeah. What are some of the shows that you've had a really great time working on? Uh, my recurring one right now is SWAT. Um, and I, I fly all the drone on SWAT. Uh, my buddy Eric does all the FPV stuff, but I do, uh, the cinema drone and, um, we get to do a lot of neat stuff. We yeah. do a lot of neat stuff. We like blowing up stuff on the show. We like doing car chases and, and as a, as a drone pilot, that's a, that's a lot of stuff that I enjoy doing. You know, if it's, if it's, you go to a shoot, it's just like, oh, okay, let's go up. And go yeah, down. I'm yeah, like, yeah. this is a boring day, you know, but if there's a risk of wrecking, I'm sign me up. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen some really incredible shots that you've done. Um, very close calls, everything. How many drones would you say you've ruined? I have uh, not crashed one time on a set. 
And uh, now that I just said that. Knock on some wood. Right? Yeah, there, there's, yeah. There, there's, a, there's a wood knock. Yeah. Um, I, I'm super thankful for that. I, I, I think part of it is is I do a pretty substantial risk assessment when I'm flying. Um, and I think that that's probably a little bit of a carryover from the military um, where it's just like, all right, well, these are the obstacles in the area. I know what I'm capable of. I know what this aircraft's capable of. And, you know, we just go and achieve it safely. And at, at any point in time, I don't feel safe doing something. I'm not shy to be like, hey, we need to re- re- rethink how we're going to shoot this because this is putting either this actor or this, you know, something in danger. So, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're literally like a producer's like dream pilot, right? <laughs> like military experience, <laughs> like a super talented director. Like your reel is phenomenal. Thank you. Like, fuck, man. Yeah, Thank you very much. I was on set one time, uh, this random uh, pilot we were filming years and years ago, and I'm not going to name what it was, <laughs> but <laughs> there was a drone operator that they brought on board and he was like the safety guy, safety drone operator, whatever whatever his title was, but it had something to do with safety and it had something to do with drones. Um, this guy, <laughs> nothing safe about him. <laughs> oh, no. He started freaking out on everybody. Uh, telling everyone to get out of the way. And he was, he was not a very nice guy, you know? Um, and, and, and that showed, but anyways, <laughs> he went to grab this drone. It was a smaller drone, but it had two, uh, like, um, uh, like a phantom. It's got fa- the, yeah, yeah, exactly. Legs, I, think, yeah. I think it was a phantom. It had the legs on it. And so when he went to go get it, he grabbed it with one hand, the phantom flipped over and both the blades sliced his arm and cut his arm completely oh, open. Oh, and I was oh, like, boy. everyone looked at each other and I was like, that was the safety drone operator. That was the that was the, oh. the safety. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it was not good. It wasn't pretty. I think one of the wildest, wildest. So this is this has to be weighed out in in risk versus what you're getting, right? So we were for, we were filming for a TV show called uh, Waco, uh, season yep. two. That's coming out soon. And Waco, w- Texas. Yeah. And so we we had an Alta X, which is the a very large production drone. It's not like a little, it's not an Inspire 2. It's, I mean, it's Sorry. seven feet from wingtip to wingtip. It's a big drone. That's crazy. That's um, as big as a table. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. just about. And so uh, uh, underneath that, we have a, you know, a, an Alexa LF or or whatever camera they want to fly. I think on this, it was an LF. So now we're talking about, we have this, you know, large drone and then around $150,000 worth of camera underneath it. So all in all, it's about $200,000 flying around. So they wanted to, chase this car uh, and, uh, down the middle of the road in New Mexico and stuff. And they wanted to get like really low. And I'm like, all right, this sounds like a lot of fun, you know, and this, right up my alley. But it's at right. the same time, you're like, all right, if I crash an Inspire 2, it's a bad day. It's $12,000 that we're going to have to pay to, to get a new one, whatever. This is bad. Like this, this, is, a, yeah. this is a wreck. Some mortgage. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so, uh, and so we do the shot and, and, it, we had stu- set up set up where we were flying from, uh, which was like halfway down the route of where the drone was going to pass by, just for for signal purposes. And so we started down, you know, at this far end over here, and which means the drone's going to pass us. And I just remember, I, as we're flying, I'm like bringing it in really low next to this car. I mean, r- the camera was probably a, a foot or two off the ground, going around 50 miles an hour, and. It passes by all of the crew and like I'm flying it as this is happening, like right in front of all of us. And it's just moving so fast it, with how heavy it is. It's like, whoa, you know, and just the whole thing just flies by us. And it it didn't take me by surprise because I'm like, I'm I'm really focused on the on the monitor of what's happening. But I was like, that probably looked really cool as this whole thing came flying by. But uh anyway, got the got the shot. It was super sexy, right next to this car. And uh, yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. It was just a flyby, like it was nothing yeah. crazy, but Could just the, the altitude. It? Oh yeah, it yeah. was. It's a it was a monster flying by us. The yeah. part you're uh, not saying is you're still paying it off to this day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were very stoked with That's that shot. Awesome. Um, but uh, uh, a lot That's of cool, yeah, a lot of cool ones. You know, yeah. I worked with worked with our buddy uh, worked with our buddy Max uh, Max uh, Theriot. Uh, yeah, yeah, is it Theriot? Th- Theriot. Or Thoreau? Max Thoreau? Yeah. Or am I, I'm thinking of the guy, the actor he, in- um, SEAL yeah. Team. He's in oh, SEAL Team now, but I'm when you're talking when he was younger. Looper. The Peter Berg uh, cult show on HBO. Uh, Justin Thoreau. Uh, Justin oh, no, Thoreau. Different, different yeah. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, sorry. yeah. Um, but Max is a super talented director yeah. and an awesome guy. Uh, yeah, he name. had me out to fly for, um, for, an, for one of his episodes that he was directing on SEAL Team. And he's like, all right, dude, I want to get a really low flyby of these trucks as they're coming. They're getting chased by these guys. I'm like- 
you want a low one, huh? And then he's like, yeah. And so, and so we lined it up and, you know, had the Inspire and start hauling ass at the, uh, at the, at the, at the three trucks. And literally, I mean, just right before, you know, the drone's about to smack through the windshield, give it just a little bit up right over the top. And he's like, oh my God. <laughs> it yeah. was, a, that was, that was, that was, that shot was pretty wild, actually. I remember when you did that and I saw it for the first time and I was like, okay, that was inches. That was inches, but also, you just got yourself more work, buddy. <laughs> yeah, holy crap. Yeah, that was a fun one. That, yeah, was, that was a lot was, of fun. Is that, that a decent cool rush you get when you're flying those drones? Yeah. yeah. If, like I said, if it's that high intensity The flying, quarter million yeah. on the propeller. Yeah. Yep. Even if, it, even if it's not the expensive one and it's just the, the little guy. Yeah. Still a lot of fun. Thanks for watching Studio 22. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks for tuning in to Studio 22.